class tonight. Uh, we are going to be talking about third conditionals. Uh, we, I've, I've been doing a series, uh, I did first and, and second conditionals, and uh, so today uh, I've been going over third conditionals as well as I, I did uh, some, uh, uh, some beginning, beginning uh, uh, verb conjugations with the verbs to be and to have with, uh, with some beginners. Hi, Jada, how are you? Uh, so uh, yes, this hour this hour we are going to be going over third conditionals. The first link I'm going to give you is going to be the rules. All right, so let me uh, get those to you. Go ahead and put those in the, the chat box here. Hey, Tarcicio, how are you? I'm fine, Chad, and you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Let's see, so what's new? How's uh, how's everything going? Not any uh, anything uh, exciting happen? Tarcicio, any anything uh, new happening with you, or is it just the same old, same old? Not much. Not much. Okay. All right, cool, man. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, Rafael. How are you? Rafael, how are you doing? Can you hear me okay? Uh, Rafael, make sure that your uh, your microphone is not muted. Okay, and then we have uh, Jolanda. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, I'm everybody. Doing well. I'm doing very well. And Jolanda, where I'm are you fine, from? fine. Thank you. Uh, Jolanda, where, where are you from? I'm Colombian. You're from Colombia. Excellent. And, uh, and what do you do? Are you, uh, are you working or are you a student? I work. Okay. And what's your job? I work. I... Um, I am generally the same. Okay, so you uh, you work with uh, design, so you work in journalism design. Yes, and okay. I and I repair um, watch and clocks, um, every kind okay. of. Thing. Very cool. That's cool. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, uh, welcome to the class. It's good to have you here. Yes, teacher. And. It's the first is it, time. Oh, is it your first time here at Verbling or your first time here with me? With you. Okay. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> good to have you here. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Jada, how, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm great. And you? I'm doing really good. And uh, Jada, did you, uh, did you have a good, uh, good vacation day today? I know uh, you told me yesterday that today was, was a holiday for you, right? Yes, it was a great weekend <laughs> because good. I'm just relaxed. Good, good. That's always yeah. uh, always fun to fun to do. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it to class tonight. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too. All right, we've got uh, Ricardo. How are you? Hello, Chad. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, man? Uh, so, so uh, tell me, Ricardo. Ricardo, uh, anything, uh, anything happened today that uh, that was interesting? It's a normal day today, working normal day. Okay, all right. It looks Thank like uh, a lot of people had uh, just normal, regular days. My day as well was very normal, very regular. Nothing uh, uh, super interesting happening. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's just one of those days, right? Okay. All right, and uh, Rafael, did you get your microphone working? Nope, I still can't hear you. Nope, I still can't hear you. Make sure, make sure that your microphone is not muted. Okay, uh, let's go to Lucas. How are you, Lucas? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? 
I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Now, Lucas, um, I can't see very well, but I don't see, uh, I, I don't uh, believe I recognize your face. Is this the first time you've been in my class here? <laughs> this is the second time you asked me that. No, no. Really? <laughs> do, you keep, do you keep changing rooms? Um, I, always, I, I think I, I have watched some of your class. Okay, yeah, because if you if you change rooms or um, uh, like uh, uh, sometimes have a have a picture there or and then go to camera, then I forget completely who you are. See, because uh, yeah, for yeah. example, uh, except for like Tarcicio, I remember him every time he comes in with this picture. All right, Ricardo yeah. as well. I if he comes in with that picture, I'll remember who he is. If he changes it. Whew. I'll probably have a tough time. Like it's like because uh, it's uh, it's like if you guys were to were to change change your face altogether because that's all I see. Um, but, I, but I really understand that is possible. Too many people here. There there are there are quite a lot of people here. But I try I try and remember everyone uh, uh, that that comes into class. At least something about them. Something. Anyway, so uh, so where are you, where are you from, Lucas? I'm from Brazil. I say that one more time. Brazil. Brazil, yeah. Okay, very cool, very cool. So Lucas Alves uh, from uh, from Brazil. Okay, cool, man. All right, welcome back to class. Uh, we have Jorge as well. Jorge, how are you? Doing fine. How about you? I'm doing good. Now, Jorge, I believe I remember you from before. You came in the other night with a dark screen. Um, uh, I'm thinking you're from from Mexico, but I, I may be wrong. Are you from Mexico, Jorge? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. All right, because I was thinking, I was like, ah, I remember a guy. He came in with a black screen. I think he said he was from uh, Mexico, but I wasn't exactly sure. Uh, very cool. So, um, are you are you from? I think it was Yucatan or the Yucatan Pen Peninsula, or where where are you from? No, in Mexico. Not Yucatan. Uh, it's Aguascalientes. Aguascalientes. There we go. Okay. All right, cool, man. Very cool. Well, welcome, uh, welcome back to class. It's good to have Thank you here. You. And let's see, Diego, how you doing, Diego? Hello, teacher. I'm doing well, well. I have a little stomach ache, but I'm okay. Nice yeah, to see you not. again, by the way. Good to see you again as well. Um, so what did you eat? What got you, what got you uh, getting sick? Well, I think it was the fried plantain. Ooh. Yeah, I guess it depends on where you eat it from, huh? Yes, I think the combination <laughs> avocado, plantain is not that good for my yeah. stomach. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes that'll get you. Yeah, tonight. Hey, uh, have you decided what to do in Semana Santa? No, not yet, not yet. I didn't have a, I didn't have a chance to, uh, to take a look at things today. We got, we bought. Uh, well, you know how it is in in uh, the schools here. My kids go to a public school, and. Uh, um, they, they require you to bring in, like, make copies of this, make copies of that, this out of the other. And every time you go and make a copy, it's like a, it's like a, a, a hundred colones. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I keep spending and spending and spending money on all these copies that the teachers want me to make. And uh, I was just like, all right, fine. I'm just going to go out and buy a, buy a printer. So we got a printer. And yes. uh, I had to I had to hook it all up and everything like that. That's what I did on my break. And then uh, around twenty five cents each copy. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. I'm like, are you kidding me? Anyway, yes, they got it's they like got a, a robbery. Money. It is. It is. It's terrible. So anyway. Yeah. So uh, that's what I was doing today, as well as uh, my wife got back and she's like, uh, can you can you uh, hang the clothes for me because they washed and then anyway so. Had a bunch of stuff to do. Right. Didn't, didn't have it. Have a chance. But once I once I figure it out, um, I'll, I'll let you know. Definitely, definitely. Perfect. And if I if we do end up going someplace, I'll uh, I'll share some pictures because I think it, I think that'd be fun. Oh, that's great. Very cool, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Cool, cool. All right. Let's see who else we got. We have uh, on. On, can you hear me? Okay. Not so much. All right, let's try uh, Rafael one more time. Did you get your microphone working? Hello. There you are. How you doing, man? Hello, Tikal. Oh. oh no, that's on. 
On there. You, hey, how you doing, On? Hello. On. Hi. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can. Great. Uh, now, On, where are you from? I am from Hanoi, in Vietnam. Vietnam. Right, so from Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. Vietnam. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, well, welcome, uh, welcome to class today. Uh, and, and what do you do, On? Are you a student or do you work full time? Um, I am student. Uh, I study uh, economic university. Um, uh, I am thirty years. Okay, very cool. Well, uh, welcome to class. Well, everybody, we are going to get started. Um, my name is Teacher Chad. If uh, if you're not familiar with me, uh, looks like uh, most everybody is or has been to one of my classes uh, in the past. Hello, people that are that are watching as well. If you do have any questions, make sure to uh, to chat over to me, and I'll try and respond to you as fast as can as fast as I can. Uh, so this hour we are going to be uh, talking about third conditional. I did put the uh, the link in the chat box. So when you open that that uh, link up, this is what you're going to see. All right, so you're going to see uh, th uh, third conditional. All right, this is English club. All right, and we're going to go ahead and uh, read read the rules. Okay, about third conditional. All right, let's uh, let's start off with uh, let's see. Let's start off with uh, Jada. Let me have you read the first paragraph, um, and I'll have you read down to uh, where it says I would have bought a car in that in that box. Okay, go ahead and read that, Jada. Okay, third conditional, no possibility. The first conditional and second conditional talk about the future. With the third conditional, we talk about the past. We talk about a condition in the past that did not happen. That is why there is no possibility for this condition. The third conditional is also like a dream, but with no possibility of the dream coming true. All right, very good, and uh, keep reading uh, through that box, okay? Okay. Last week, you bought a lottery ticket, but you didn't not win. Condition was perfect. If I had won the lottery result, I would have bought, bought a car. Okay, good. All right, so class, here is our formula. We are using past perfect. Okay, past perfect. Mm -hmm. That is past tense of a verb. Okay, then using past tense of had. When we use the verb to have, that makes the uh, uh, that makes the perfect tense. Okay, it makes it absolute. If I if I had won the lottery, okay, had won. All right, uh, then we use would have. Okay, plus the past participle. Okay, usually that means we add an ed ending. Okay, in some cases like this, it would be bought. Okay, so here we would say I would have bought a car. Okay, so this is going to be our formula. Now we can uh, we can switch it around. We can have would have plus past participle, then if and past perfect. Okay, we can definitely say that. So we're going to learn learn a little bit more about this and then get into some practices. Uh, let's go to Tarsicio. Let me have you read the next paragraph, please, down to okay. uh, where it says uh, the English club tip. Go ahead. The English club tip. Okay. Sometimes we should oh, have, could oh, have. Uh, this this, par this paragraph here uh, first. Go ahead and read that all the way down uh, down to where it below uh, English club tip. Okay, so it starts off with notice. Notice that we are. Do you see that okay. under the under the box? Notice that we okay. are. Hmm? Notice that we are thinking about an impossible past condition. You did not win the lottery, so the condition was not true, and that particular condition can never be true because it is finished. We use the past perfect the. Tends to talk about the impossible past condition. 
we would have more past participle to talk about the impossible past result. The important important thing about the third conditional is that both the condition and the result are impossible now. Okay, and the English club tip, please. Okay. Sometimes we use should have, could have, might have instead of would have. For example, if you had bought a lottery ticket, you might have won. Good. Thank you. All right. Let's go to <coughs> uh, Ricardo. Let me have you read all, all of the examples in uh, in this first box here, please. Okay. Uh, if condition, result, okay, past perfect. First, uh, and would have it plus past participle. If I had seen Mary, I would have told her. Uh, if Tara had been free yesterday, I would have in invited her. If they had not passed the exam, the teacher would have been sad. If it, if it had rained yesterday, would you have stayed at home? Uh, if it had rained yesterday, what would you have done? Very good. Okay, let's go to uh, Lucas. Let me have you read uh, this next set of examples in the next box, please. All right. Um, result, result, and if condition would have plus participle, past participle, and past, past, past person. I would have told Mary. If I had seen her, I would have invited Tara. If she had been free yesterday, the teacher would have been sad they had not passed the exam. Would you have would you have stayed at home if it had rained yesterday? Yesterday, would you would you have gone if it rained yesterday? Okay, good. Thank you. So class, notice, like what I was saying before, we can change our formula. Here in this first box, we have the formula. If past perfect would have plus past participle. Okay, that's our formula. Now we've switched it and we can start off with would have plus past participle and past perfect. Okay? All right, uh, with if there in the middle. Uh, I do apologize. I did not mention that if. Okay. So, uh, class, does anybody have any questions before we go on to our practices? Any questions for me? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. Okay. The third condition is a uh, possibility. Yeah, it's zero possibility. Okay, so zero. every... It, it, oh, it, is it, it had yeah. already happened. I, I have. Huh? Yes. I confused with the probability, or is not nothing probability. Um, it's impossible to happen, right? Yeah. So you're you're talking about uh, something that has already happened. Okay. So for example, here where they talk about uh, buying a lottery ticket, there there's no going back. Okay, and, and what you're really saying is, well, if I would have won, then this is what I did, but I didn't win, and so I can't do that. And so there's there's no way for that actually to, to be completed. First conditional, all right, is when we're saying, okay, if it, uh, if it uh, doesn't rain today, okay, I'm, I'm, or if it rains today, I, I will stay home, okay, and that, that will definitely happen. Okay, uh, um, and that that is you know I, I'm definitely going to do that now. Uh, second conditional is is a, a possibility. Okay, uh -huh. we talk about maybe having a possibility here. Now third conditional, there's no possibility. You're talking about something that happened in the past. Okay, and and you're you're saying well if that would have happened in the past I would have done that, but there's no fixing it now. Okay, does that does that make sense? Okay, I get it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and, yeah. and go into some uh, some practices. All right. Uh, the practices are listed under the class materials. 
Okay, they're called the third conditional practices. Uh, I'm going to place these in the chat box as well if you, if you could not find them or if you do not have them. Uh, give me one second, I'm just pulling it up. And it is taking its sweet time. Here we go. Teacher? Yeah. There is a difference with. Hold on a second. All right. There is a difference among should have and would have instead of the proper form that would have. Um, should have the should have is always going to suggest a, uh, a an advice, so it's going to be advisability. Okay, um, so you could say if I would if uh, if you would have so let's say that you're that you have a friend that doesn't have uh, a house. Okay, and uh, um, and their their plan was. To uh, if they won the lottery, they were going to go on vacation instead of buying a house for themselves, okay, or a place to live. And so, if uh, if uh, you had won the lottery, you uh, you should have, okay, or you should have planned, okay, you should have planned to buy a house. So okay. he's thinking so it's before. Be, it's going it's going to be advisability when you use should. Okay, that's that's when you're advising someone that that's what they that's what they need to do, or if if something would have happened, that's what they uh, should have planned on doing instead of instead of going on vacation. Okay, they should have done this. All right, so he's thinking before. I'm saying I'm sorry. He's thinking after the lottery results. Yeah. So, uh, third conditional, everything is already done. Okay. But let's let's say, for example, uh, me. All right. Um, I uh, uh, my uh, my daughter, for example. Let's say that uh, that she broke her leg. All right. And we're going to use the lottery here as well. Okay. Um, and I don't have enough money to pay for it. Right. But you overheard me talking. Okay, and I said, man, if if I would have won the lottery, okay, if I had won the lottery, I would have gone gone to Jamaica for a month. All right, and you're like, whoa, 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 dude, your, your daughter just broke her leg, and you have all these medical bills. If you had won the lottery, okay, you should have planned, okay, you should have planned on paying the medical bills. All right, so now you're telling me you're like, no, no, your your idea doesn't work. You should have done this. So you're advising me uh, of a better way to spend that money. All right, perfect. Thanks. Okay, does that does that clear things up a little bit more, or is it still yes. a little bit confusing? There's a lot better now. Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's uh, let's let's go ahead and get into uh, some practices. All right. Um, okay, so I put uh, I put in I, I put in the practices in the uh, the verbling chat box, and let's go to here we go. All right, so when you open up open up the exercises, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, uh, so conditional sentences, third condition, uh, pastime, unreal, contrary to fact. Okay, uh, in our first uh, first exercises, we are going to be uh, um, conjugating the verbs that are in the parentheses. Okay, our first ones are miss and be, and I'm highlighting those right now. Okay, and we are going to use the formula. Okay, if. Okay, if and then had. Okay, had plus the uh, past tense. So this is going to be perfect past. Okay, then would have into past participle. Okay, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, and knock some of these out. Let's start off with uh, who was my last person to read? Was that Lucas? So uh, Jorge, is it your turn? Let me have you do numbers one and two, please. All right. Um, given thought the bird on the charm, but if he misses the bird. He um, was 
late for his appointment. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's check this out. Okay, so right here, this is our formula. Okay, if now we need the word had, and then past tense of the word miss. What's uh, what's past tense of the word uh, miss? Miss it. If he missed. Me. Okay, so we're going to say if he had missed. Okay, the bus. All right. Uh, he and now we're looking at would have okay um, plus a uh, past participle of be what's going to be a past participle of uh, the verb to be um, late in, uh, was okay it would it would be ben ben okay so b e e n okay so he would have been late for his appointment. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's uh, let's have you review that one more time. If he had missed the bus, he would have been late for his appointment. Let me have you repeat that, please, Jorge. Okay. Kevin um, caught the bus on time, but if he had missed the bus, he would have been late for his appointment. Good, good. Nice job. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Diego, number two, please. All right, let me try this one. Bob didn't write to me when he was on vacation. But if he had known my address, he would have sent me a postcard. Good, good. Now, um, is that okay? Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you're, you're almost you're almost there, okay? Okay. But if he had, instead of saying have, we would say had. If he had known my my address, he would have sent me a postcard. Okay. So would have sent now is perfect. Nice job, okay? But instead of saying, uh, if he have known, we would say had with a D. Let me have you try that one time, one more time. But if he had known my address. All right. Bob didn't write to me when he was on vacation. But if he had known my address, he have. No, Sorry. he would have. Yeah, he would have. Okay. He would have sent me a postcard. Good, good. Yeah, so remember, the formula is going to be if, okay, and then we're going to say had or have, okay, in most cases it's going to be had, okay, um, and, and then uh, would have sent, okay, me a postcard, okay, just like uh, up here. This is going to be our example here. All right? Okay, All right, let's, perfect. Let's go to number three. Uh, this is for Am. Um, let me have you read number three, please. Mm. We, did, we didn't buy the car because it's good to expensive. But it, it's been a little cheaper. Okay, and we would say if it had have been, been uh, a little cheaper, we uh, would have been post it. Okay, we would have there have you go. bought bought it. Good, we would have bought it. So, uh, but if it if it had been if it had been a okay. little cheaper. We would have bought it. So, buy uh, the past participle of buy would be bought. Boss. Okay, good. Mm. Thank okay, you. let's go to number four, and this is for Yada. Okay, they didn't go to the party, but if she has invited them, they would have gone. Okay, almost. So instead of saying, but if she uh, have, we would say had. 
with a D sound, had. But if she had invited them. In past, had. Yes, right. had. Okay, so we're going to be in uh, past perfect. Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay good. All right, uh, number five is for Tarcicio. Okay. I didn't know that Dave was in the hospital last week. If I had known, I would have visited him. Good. If I had known, I would have visited him. Good. Okay. Um, number six, please, Ricardo. Okay. Uh, it was cold yesterday, but if it has been warmer, we should going to the beach. Okay, so if it had been warmer. Warmer. Had, had been or had been. Yeah, if it had been warmer, okay? okay. And yeah, you can definitely say, but if it had been warmer, warmer, we should have gone to the beach. You can use should. Uh, you can also say would there. Okay, would would have gone to the beach as well. Either one would be would work just fine. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, number number seven is uh, for Lucas. Yes. Um, I <coughs> felt a little sick last night. If I had if I had felt better, uh -huh. I should I should gone to the movie with you. Yeah. So I should have gone to the movie with you. Okay, so try that one more time. If I had felt better, I should have gone to the movie with you. Okay, and should have or would have would work just fine in this situation as well. Try that one more time, Lucas. If I should have gone to the movie with you. Okay, um, it, it would be uh, I, I should have, not if I, but I should have I should gone to the movie with you. I should have gone to the moon with you. Good. Okay. Uh, let's go to number eight, and this is for <clears throat> Jorge. Number seven. Uh, number eight, please. Number eight. Jane didn't understand the homework. If she had uh, listened to the teacher's instructions. She would have known what to do. Yeah, that's it. Nice job, man. Thank you. All right. Okay, let's go to number nine. Uh, and this is for Diego. Hey, you guys are catching on. Yeah, you just use that formula and you're good to go. Okay, number nine, please, Diego. Number nine. All right, let me see. I'm sorry, I was late. I forgot to set my alarm clock last night. If the alarm clock <coughs> had rung, I would have got to the meeting on time, to the meeting on time. Yeah, that w it's going to be got, I would have gotten. With o. So it's going to be past participle. I would have gotten. Okay. Okay. So, All right. if the alarm clock had rung, uh -huh. I would have got to the meeting on time. Okay, gotten. I would have gotten or gotten. Okay, perfect. Gotten. Okay, good. Got it. All right, cool, man. And let's go to number <coughs> 10. And this is for on. The hockey tickets go on sale. If they have been a ticket available. I would have went to the game. 
Good, good. If there had been a ticket available, I would have gone to the game. Nice job, on. And let's go to number 11, please. Java. Our team lost the football game last night, but if George had played it, we probably would have won. Uh, yes, very good. We probably would have won. Okay, if George had played. Good job, Java. Nice. Really good. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, let's scroll down. All right, and we now we have multiple choice answers here. Okay. All right, so we're going to be filling in the blanks with uh, with the proper answer. Uh, let's start off with uh, Tarcisio. Let me have you do number one, please. Okay. <clears throat> if Marty had gone to the party, I would have gone too. Yes, I would have gone. Nice job. And uh, Ricardo, number two, please. Hello, okay, and uh, number two. If we, I don't read it before. Uh, if we need, need the money, if you don't, will have probably. If you did not, uh, if you don't, lame. Okay, we I want uh, 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 past perfect. Past when we use past perfect, we use uh, the verb to have. Two. Yeah. C. Okay. If you hadn't late in the morning, I would not have bought, bought the ticket. Good. If you hadn't lent me the money, good job. Okay, let's go to number number three. This is for Lucas. Oh yes. I wouldn't have stayed at that hotel if you hadn't recommended it to me. Good. If you hadn't, if you hadn't recommended it to me. If you hadn't recommended recommended it to me. Good, good. Okay, uh, number four is uh, Jorge. She would have been hurt in the car accident if she hadn't worn her seatbelt. Good, if she hadn't worn, yes, C. Okay, uh, number five is for Diego. All right. Just check, check in the mic. All right. If you had asked me, I would have helped you. Good. If you if you had asked me, I would have helped you. Good job. Okay. Number six is for on. If I had taken my umbrella, I would have gotten very wet. Okay. I would have gotten. Very wet. Gotten Good job. Yes. Very wet. Okay. Yes. Letter C. Okay. Uh, number seven, Java. Good uh, Say that one more time. I the last words that I heard were with us. With us. Uh, you go and have us. Okay, uh, let's see. Wouldn't have come with us. So letter B. Good. All right, let's go to number B. eight. Number number eight, please, Tarcisio. Okay. If she hadn't been in such a hurry, she wouldn't have dri driven through a red light. Okay, good. Now that word is driven. She wouldn't have driven. 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 Good, yes, with that short I sound. Nice job. Okay. Excellent. Okay, you guys, let's scroll down to page number three. Okay. Now it's uh, it's going to get uh, uh, a little bit more difficult. Okay. We're going to start uh, um, creating sentences um, and, and, and basing them off of responses. Okay. Uh, so let's start off with uh, with Ricardo. Now, Ricardo, on this uh, on this part, we are going to say a sentence, not write a sentence, in third condition for each of the following situations. So our first situation is they didn't arrive on time because they took the wrong road. 
Now, uh, I need for you to tell the class what uh, a uh, a third con uh, a third condition for this situation would be. I can create a, a phrase with third person. Uh, a third condition. Okay, so um, they di they didn't arrive on time because they took the wrong road. Okay, so let's uh, let's build this together. So let's start it off with the word if. Okay, now if and uh, how many people are 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 here? Is it uh, um, is it one person? Is it I or is it you or we or or he she it okay. or is it they? Okay, if they didn't arrive on time because they took the wrong road. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's take it one step at one one step at a time. So uh, we we're going to use they. If they now remember what is our formula, uh, uh, Ricardo? We say okay. if. All right, and then we want to use uh, past perfect, right? And we use the word had. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus past tense. Okay. Now, what we want to say if if uh, because they took the wrong road. They didn't arrive on time. Okay. All right. So, what would be the past tense of the verb uh, uh, took or to uh, take? To take. Did it take? Okay. We're going to use past past perfect. Yes. Did it take? Is it taken? Yes, taken. taken. Okay. So, all right. So, if they. Okay, we're going to say had taken, and I'm writing this here. If they had taken, okay. Now, what do, what would they need to take? What do they need to have taken to be able to arrive on time? Uh, the right road. Yeah, the right road or the correct road. Either one is fine. So, if they had taken the correct road, all right. Now, what am I going to say? They. Okay, now what's our formula? We're going to use would, have, and then past participle, okay? Now, um, we want to use past participle of arrive, right? So those are our two verbs here. We have took and we have arrived. So what's going to be my past participle of arrived? So would, have, and then what else are we going to say here? Almost there. What do what do you think, Ricardo? So what we have now is if they had taken the correct road, they would have. You would have arrived on time. Good, arrived on time. Okay, if they had taken the correct road, they would have arrived on time. So class, do you see how we did that? We took this situation. We took this situation and we created a third condition out of it. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, let's try another one out. Let's try another one out. Okay, so we're Teacher, gonna go could I try to, with it too? Uh, sure. If you want to try with two, go for it. All right. Andrew didn't get the job because he didn't have much experience. If he had experienced he might have gotten the job done. Okay, so um, very close. We we want to uh, we want to say if I'm almost there. He, yeah, if he had and we, and we would say um, more if he had more experience. Okay, if he had more experience. All right, how would if we end that? He had more experience. Yeah, he would have. Okay. Okay. What's what's uh, what's going to be our past participle of uh, get, uh, get? Gotten. Okay. He would have gotten the job. Okay. So so if he uh, if he had uh, sorry that's uh, that's incorrect. It would be if he had had. Okay. If he had had more experience. So I apologize. If he had had more experience. 
if he had had had. Yeah, so had had. It's like using uh, in Spanish. You have the verb tener y haber. Okay, if right. he would, if he would had had. Okay, or let's see, if he would have had. Geez, am I screwing things up tonight? It's a. Uh, it's getting late. If he, yeah, if he had had much more experience. Okay. Uh, he would have gotten the job. Okay, you would say you would say more instead of much. You would say more, don't. Okay, now th does that make sense? Does that make sense, Diego? If he had had more experience, he would have gotten the job. I'm a little bit confused with the double hat or okay. had hat. All right, so in Spanish it would be si hubiera tenido. Right. Okay, haber and tener, both of them in English mean to have. So you have two verbs, we have one. All right. Okay. So that's that's where the confusing part is. Uh, so haber is to have, and tener is to have as well. We use we use uh, um, the same verb for or the same word for both both of those meanings. Okay. Okay. So does that make it a little? Does that make more sense now? Yeah, it's better. Thanks okay, a lot. Yeah. So we have that 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 same uh, just the same word. Okay. So uh, if he had had more experience, he would have gotten the job. All right. Okay? Perfect. Thank you very much, teacher. Okay. Let's go to Jorge. Let me have you try out number three. Okay. These are tricky, you guys. It's okay. Don't don't worry. If, uh, I mean, it's the it's kind of the 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 next level up. It's d a difficult concept to understand um, and then a little bit more difficult to use. But you guys are catching on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, Jorge, let's try number three. Okay. Yeah. Ellen didn't pass her driver's test because she didn't stop at the red red light. If she had stopped at the red light. She would have passed the test. Good. That's it. If she had stopped at the red light, she would have passed her test. Excellent. Okay. So that's that's our formula. If had passed, would have. Okay. Passed her driver's test. Nice job. Okay. Let's try, let's try out number four. Uh, this is for Camilo. Camilo, I can't hear you. Let's go to on. Let me have you try out number four. Mm. If the red hat fist um bar barbaran us uh, have was the was is Okay, so on, on uh, I'm uh, I can't hear you very well. It sounds like it's breaking up just a little bit. Can you hear me okay, on? Mm, I can. Mm. Okay, so mm. our sentence here is Barbara didn't buy the dress because it didn't fit. Okay, mm. so uh, how are we going to start this one out with? The red, uh, the red has fit. Uh, okay, so if, okay uh, so let's uh, let me help you out. We're gonna say if it had. Okay, if it. And now we're talking about the dress. Okay, and we're gonna say mm. if it had fit. Okay, so if the beginning of it is if it had fit, okay, then how would we end out uh, end this sentence? What do you think, Han? Mm, uh, no, it's mm, uh, I use zero red, a zero red. No, no, it's I use zero red. 
Okay. All right. Well, let, let me let me help you out. I'm having a hard time understanding you, understanding you there. But it would be if it had fit, she would mm. have bought. Mm. Okay. She would have bought. Bought. Mm. Okay? okay. And you can say bought the dress or bought it. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Mm. So if it had fit, she would have bought it. Okay. All right. Let's go to Jada. Let's have you try number five. Okay. Okay. The Smiths didn't go to Hawaii for their vacations because the airplane tickets were too expensive. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, start, start it off with the word if. Okay, you, you can start it off with if, that's safe, okay? If the okay, so we're now the Smiths. The Smiths. Okay. We can call them they. All right. So let's let's try that. If they, that's how we're going to start it off. If they, if they had. Um, oh, I, we're gone. okay. So I apologize. We're talking about the tickets. Okay, so the tickets were the uh, condition here. Because okay. they didn't, they didn't go on. Um, they didn't go on vacation because the tickets were too expensive. Oh, okay. Okay. So if the tickets, good. If the, if the tickets, tickets have been uh, okay, good. Cheaper. Yeah, cheaper. good. Had been cheaper. Nice. Keep going. The Smiths. Um, we want the word would. Would would have gone to Hawaii. Yeah, would have gone to Hawaii. Oh my God! <laughs> Woo -hoo, look at you! Hard. Look at you! Good. So, if the tickets had been cheaper, the Smiths would have gone to Hawaii. All right. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's try another one. Uh, Tarcicio, let me have you do number six. Okay. Okay. I got a parking ticket because I forgot to put money in the parking meter. Oh my god. Um, Start off with if. If I had button, button? Uh, it put. Put. If I had put the money in the parking meter, I could have gone. No, I could have gotten a parking ticket. All right. So, uh, if you had done that, okay, you wouldn't. Oh. Okay, because um, you uh, you got a ticket because you forgot to put money there. Okay. Now uh, that you got a ticket, so to avoid that ticket, okay, you needed to have put money in. The parking meter. All right, so that's why we would say, if mm -hmm. I had, if I had put money in the parking me meter, I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't have gotten a ticket. Does that make sense? Totally. Okay. Totally. Cool. And I think my. I think my computer is freezing up on me. Can you guys still hear, still hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear okay. you. Perfect. All right, I, I can't write in there for some reason. This is this is funky. Okay, let's uh, let's go to uh, eight. Uh, Ricardo, let me have you try number eight, okay? Okay, number eight. Uh, she did not take your number because the, she, she didn't know if it was super good to rain, to pose it to rain. She did not take a number up because she did not know if she was supposed to rain. If she, if she know it is rain, she won't be taking an umbrella. Okay. Okay, so if all right, so she didn't take an umbrella because she didn't know it was supposed to rain. Okay, so our verb here is going to be no. So if she had no known 
if she had known, okay, yeah, so if she had known it was supposed to rain, she had known it was supposed to rain. She take the umbrella. Yeah, she would have. She would have taken the umbrella. Okay. okay, she would have taken the umbrella. If she had known it was supposed to rain, she would have taken the umbrella. She would have taken the yeah. umbrella. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, try. Yeah. Uh, who wants who wants to try? Me, me, Camilo, Camilo. It's me. Camilo, nice okay, go for it, Camilo. Uh, number nine, okay? Okay. Teacher, ah. in the number seven, it was red. It wasn't red. Who is he? Oh, number seven ha hasn't been done? Okay, hey, uh, Camilo, do number seven, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, the cake burned because she didn't set the timer of the stove. And the sentences could be uh, if, if she has set the timer on the stove, she would she wouldn't have uh, she wouldn't have burned. Is it okay? Yep, she wouldn't have burned what? The cake. The cake. Okay, good, good. Yeah, she wouldn't have burned the cake. Sure. What happened with it? Uh, I don't know. Things are things are going funky right now. Things are getting crazy. All right. So let me uh, let me see if I can scroll down. We may have one more. All right. So number ten, uh, Inga. Let yeah. me have you uh, try out number ten. Okay. Okay. We didn't go skiing last weekend because there wasn't much snow on the mountain. I have to start with if. Or? Yeah, you can you can start it if <coughs> if with if. That's uh, been the easiest way to get get it rolling. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, let's say if uh, there hadn't. Uh huh. Okay. If there hadn't um, much snow on the mountain. Okay, we're going to use uh, the uh, past uh, past perfect of the verb to be. So if ha uh, hadn't. there had hadn't. Okay, and then what would what would be uh, that past perfect form? Hadn't what? Hmm. Hadn't been. Ah uh, yes. Okay, mm. so if there hadn't been, and then how would we end that there? There hadn't been what? Much now on the mountain. Um, okay, so we didn't go. <clears throat> okay, so instead of saying hadn't, sorry, I was reading this wrong. It should be if there had been. So if there had been more, more oh, snow. Okay, because oh, right here it's saying we didn't go skiing because there wasn't snow. Mm -hmm. So what we would say then, if there had been more snow. Uh, March is going to more, yes? Yeah, we would go to more. All right, and how would we finish that off? What do you think? Um, we uh, would uh, have... Uh, Past participle of go? Gone. Gone, good. Gone. We would have yes. gone. We can't. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. If there had been more snow, okay, uh, on the mountain, we would have gone skiing last weekend. Okay. Okay. So it's mm -hmm. a, it's a little a little tricky, 
but uh, yeah, we were working working out some of the bugs. You guys are you guys are doing good, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, thank you all for coming to class. My uh, my computer is uh, freezing up a little bit right now with uh, with uh, Firefox. I may need to switch browsers. It may be uh, Hangouts being crazy on me again today. But uh, yeah, uh, take take those materials, review them, uh, work on the practices. All of the answers are down at the very bottom of uh, uh, of the screen. And uh, Inga, I'm going to try and go through. Uh, um, uh, third conditional again uh, another time when it's well it's a little bit more convenient for you okay and we'll, okay. we'll see if we can get some good exercises in yeah. all right you guys um, uh, have a have a great night if not uh, you can follow me along to my next class uh, I, I have to shut down my computer real quick and then I'll be right back in because uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to move or uh, get over to my next class without doing that so I'll be in in just one moment okay you guys yes all right thanks all right, we'll see ya. Bye. 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 Bye, bye, bye. bye.